now that we've sort of flicked the switch and we're looking at more summary conditions, it's yep. all the strength now is in the south component. Sounds really good. So at least there's some yep. breeze on the horizon. It's the most positive thing out yep. of it all. And it's right. probably getting pretty dry too, which is, which is really good. Last summer was exceptionally wet. Both November last year and January this year were the wettest months ever recorded. And that put a lot of water into the lake. And then it's been quite cloudy and wet for most of this year. And so the, the water has never really been allowed to evaporate. As the troughs and fronts move from west to east across Australia, they become more and more enhanced with tropical moisture. But things will improve. Um, the Indian Ocean is cooling. The eastern half of the Indian Ocean that feeds moisture into Australia is cooling. Uh, the La Nina is expected to ease. That's the warm water over the Western Pacific. That's off Queensland and the Coral Sea. So you take both those tropical feeds of moisture into Australia and uh, they will be decreasing. Certainly been a change. It's almost like someone flicked a switch. We've gone into a drier mode, certainly, uh, than what we've, what we've been seeing. So there's, there's, yeah, there's awesome. been a change. I'd have to probably go up just to have a look at the lake and then you know, make a final call. Yeah. No, nice, mate. I'll catch up with you over the next couple of days or so and we'll, uh, yeah. we'll, we'll keep going. Good on you.